small road off of Oak Street in 1888 lived a buxom woman named Sugar who could always tell your fate. Her shop was lined in fabrics of different jewel-toned hues. She had herbs and rare elixirs. Her crystal ball looked like the moon. Sugar loved theatrics. She could put on quite a show for any problems doubts or queries just as sugar she would know sugar loved her life immensely she made her rent just fine but she had a thirst for money she wanted life to be divine A big man blustered in. She was reading for herself, but he had questions there and then. The man was taken with the room, but even more with her. Between her plunging V stiletto nails and wavy long blonde hair, startled by the death card from her reading just before. That's not for you, she chuckled as it tumbled to the floor. On his hand, she noted no ring, which meant no spouse. He went to pay her, but she said, first time's on the house. He asked her to dinner Friday after next. The two of them would supper at his hotel, Lock and Gets. It wasn't long before these two were thick as thieves. She advised him in his business and they weren't strangers in the sheets. But the coming weeks brought jitters. Sugar couldn't be a wife. She panicked at the thought of a domesticated life. She thought of her mama and how her daddy did them wrong. So she would let the devil's trumpet sing its own destructive song. Remember Sugar loved the and any stage would do. She gave his drink a little Jimson weed and waited for her cue. The man he doubled over at his own hotel event. Sugar cried, my betrothed, his time on earth was spent. Jimson weed. But sugar blew through money on the latest fashion trends. Time to take another man and help him meet his end. She met a banker in Chicago and kept the scheme up four more times. After her fifth fiance, she was satisfied. From her life of poisoning men But you never know when sugar Will take another victim again
Thank you all.